Hello and welcome back to our Pokemon Clover playthrough. Last episode, we went ahead and made our way through the s 4 gym, had ourselves a battle against good old Kanye, and we also battled Kexandra right here, who is still going to be uh, sticking around here for the rest of her short life. She is uh, not moving anymore, which is slightly concerning, but we're not going to worry about that today because today we're going into the Safari Zone. So there's one Pokemon I know of in particular that I'm definitely going to pick up, and that is the Potato Pokemon. That's 100% going to be something that I grab in the Safari Zone. There might be a lot of editing here, depending on how long it takes me to find one, <laughs> but I'm definitely at least going to catch one, so we have it as an option. Uh, there's also probably a HM at the back, maybe for strength or something, or, you know, some other equivalent. There's going to be something that we need in the Safari Zone, so... We are going to try and get all the way to the back to it. Uh, we do have Surf already, though. Which is weird. Which is weird. Because normally when you would come into the Safari Zone, you would be aiming to get Surf. But here we are with Surf already. Do we want to catch ourselves some Titties? I want options. I want options. We're going to catch a lot of things in the Safari Zone today. Which is not my favorite way to catch things. Um, catching things in the Safari Zone can be, honestly horrible sometimes because there's no real like consistent way of catching a hard to catch pokemon uh instead you're kind of just gambling on rocks and bait and i i i don't like the mechanic i don't think i ever have so we'll see how it goes we'll see how it goes for now though i guess i'm gonna run through as if this was normal and see what items we can grab item hidden in the corner we have stuff to get to it already so that's kind of nice what are we looking at dragon claw Okay, okay. I'm interested in if anyone can learn Dragon's Claw. That sounds like it would be kind of nice. A little bit of coverage that we don't really have. Deathorus can learn it. At the moment, we are running two Dark type moves because we're running Sucker Punch and Crunch. It would give us an option for Dragon types. We don't actually have any Ice moves on this team right now. Although it wouldn't be too hard to go and grab Yedoom or Wizard if we were struggling with a dragon, so maybe it's not super useful. Realistically, dragon's only use is to hit dragons, and ice just does it better. So, interesting option. Interesting option for if we get a dragon type. Maybe our Drapilla or something could learn it. Who knows? Ooh, this I will try and catch as well. I kind of want a Crockling. Okay, he's... Listen... He's a silly little guy, and I need silly little guys on my team. Nice! And we catch him with one ball as well. Level 43 is also a respectable level. Nice. Nice. We take those. Also, confirm his typing for me, please. Is it grass ground? This carnivorous Pokemon is known for its appetite. One was noted to have eaten an entire Indian elephant in one sitting. He's not even a meat at all. What do you mean? What do you mean? Someone stop him! <laughs> He's gonna get fat! <laughs> There he is. There she is. The Derpato, the Pokemon that I have been waiting for. I genuinely believe the best strategy to catch any Pokemon in the Safari Zone is just to throw balls and not even interact with the baiting or rock throwing. I genuinely think this is the best strategy. If it fails, it fails. But honestly, every time I throw bait, I never catch the Pokemon. Anytime I throw a rock, it runs away. If I throw a ball, genuinely, I have the best chance. I know that the rock is meant to up the catch rate, but they just run away. Maybe I should have tried it. Attempt number two. I'm just going to throw balls again. I know that they're here. It's the same level as well. Am I going to throw bait? I'll throw one bait just so it doesn't run away as much. I know that it lowers the catch rate and it probably doesn't have a good catch. Okay, never mind. F me, I guess. Okay. There's another Derpato. Okay, alright. The first two I found on like my fifth and eighth encounter for this area. This one took me an extra 15 minutes. Okay, let's not mess this up. Throwing bait last time did not work out in my favor, so we're just gonna throw a ball. And we're going to hope for the best again, because like I've said, that genuinely seems to be the best way to catch things in this fire zone, and I don't know why. If this does flee, 
I'm probably just going to continue through the Safari Zone and I will catch one of these another time because apparently they are much rarer than I thought initially as it did take me an extra 15 minutes just to find one. But we do get it caught. There we go. That's the pseudo legendary I need. I think it's pseudo legendary actually. I don't 100% know. The Derpato. Derpato take one hour to concentrate their inner energy to attack. They must take two hours to rest. Understandable. No nickname because your name... Well, your name is a little bit controversial, actually. Maybe I should have given it a nickname, <laughs> but uh, it'll be fine. All right, back to going through this area and seeing what people are up to. We have a building over here. Hey, kid, do you want to know how to keep an idiot busy? Go talk to the other ace trainer in here and he'll tell you. Uh-huh, you're going you're gonna to make me go back and forth. That's fine. This would be the perfect place to practice my ninja run. If only they didn't count your steps. Oh, there's no other ace trainer, so that you keep them busy because they'll keep looking for it. Got it, okay. Why do people care about graphics if the human eye can't see past 30 FPS? That's not... They're not the same. You know, good point. Good point, dude. Yeah, uh, I wonder. Hmm, weird. <laughs> Item. One timer ball. I do like having a timer ball as an option because they have such a good catch rate after 10 turns. Oh, already, huh? Time's up, your safari game is over. I will head back in. I will head back in. Um, we got the main thing that we were after, which was the Derpato. I was going ahead and using the strategy to not use up my um my steps to catch the Derpato, which is how I was in there for 15 minutes. For anyone that doesn't know what it is, you can just sit in one patch of grass and just look left and right, and it still counts as uh increasing your the chance of getting an encounter like that without actually moving up your steps. If you want to stay in the safari zone for longer, you can go ahead and do that. Just for anyone that might not know, it is very, very useful. And as you can see, my steps has not really gone down. 590, 590. All right, so this is practically where we were before, but we'll surf across rather than going around the long way. And we'll see if that lets us get here a little bit quicker. Is this the ultimate end goal? I was so close. Hello there. You're one of the few people to ever make it out here. I'd like for you to have this. HM06. That is what we came here for, basically. You may have noticed, but there are breakable rocks here in the Safari Zone. You can find Pokemon hiding in them if you use Rock Smash. Impressive. Take this. Light Clay. I don't think we're running screams. I, they're, they're useful, but I don't think we're running screens. I'm mighty impressed by your determination to come all the way out here. Anyway, Light Clay makes Reflect and Light Screen last longer in battle. Okay, so Rock Smash was the reward out here, rather than, like, the Gold Tooth for, uh, Strength. Good to know. Good to know. Um, do we have anyone that we'd want to teach Rock Smash to? It is base 60 power, rather than 40, which is nice. Um, Technician Boostable, and can also drop Defense. Um, Galavist is the only one that would get any real, like, type benefit to it. Deforus is interesting because it's weak to, you know, rock and it can't really hit steel, so it becomes interesting coverage. I'm going to hold off on it for now. Um, we might put that on someone that's going to sit in our box and just be more of a HM slave type of Pokemon, but we'll see. We'll see. I will give it some thought. Uh, we haven't been up north into the Safari Zone yet, though. I don't trust this rock. Ooh, I was right to not trust that rock. It's so out of the way, and it's so item placeable. You know, it just, just looks like it should have a goodie on it. Hmm, okay. So yeah, we would need Rock Smash for that, but we can go and grab another Pokemon for Rock Smash and take another trip in. I'm not opposed to that. Spookster. I'll try and catch a Spookster. Spookster has a free stage evolution, and I think it's somewhat powerful. And also, he's just a little guy. Okay, well, that's tragic. So much for the compliments. Spooks just stuck. Sucks, actually. Sucks. <sighs> I started on saying sucks. Damn it. Now it makes it look like he's super cool. What's this? <laughs> no. <laughs> Item on this rock, probably. Yep. One yellow shard. Um, Those are nice. Those are nice for move tutors. I like getting shards. Shards is good. Ooh. Honraid. Okay. I'm... Or Honrad. One of the two. Either way, I'm going to throw a ball at this, and if we catch it, we catch it. If we don't, we don't. At the very least, I could probably teach it Rock Smash. <laughs> um, 
I don't know if this can evolve again. If it can evolve again, the evolution is probably really powerful. If it can't, maybe it's not worth having, but we'll see. One bright powder. Okay, so if we want to really rely on RNG, we can uh bright powder things. That's fine. That's fine. We already have a lax sense as well, so we can double up on the RNG. Another Hon right immediately. I'm going to throw balls. I'm going to throw my balls at this guy. Damn, this catch rate is not looking great. The potato seems like it had a better catch rate, which is uh, saying a lot because the potato was a pain. <laughs> Okay, I'm still gonna keep just throwing balls. I know I can throw a rock at you, but I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna fall for the bait. I'm not falling for the bait. I'm not doing it. I'm gonna throw balls. That's my only thing I'm gonna do here. I should have thrown a rock. Okay, all right, fine, fine, fine. I hate this fire zone. Uh, what do we have over here? I saw an item, first of all, which is more important to me than the building. One nugget. Okay, money is good. Money is good. We always like money. Um, how many more steps do we have? 127. Okay, we can still look around a little bit more. I've been stuck here with only rocks and some dog food to defend myself with. Sounds like fun. Hey, kid, do you want to know? How oh, okay. 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 Well, maybe there was two. All right. Um, yeah, they are not going to be progressing at all. I'm sure on that. Their dialogue is not going to change. Uh-oh. I only have one stop left before they kick me out and I still haven't found what I'm looking for. That's when you do this. <laughs> Works every time. Oh my god, finally we caught something. I have been here for so long. This is probably going to be a very short episode because uh, I've already been recording for 40 minutes. Um, <laughs> just in the Safari Zone, trying to catch Pokemon in the Safari Zone, and it's probably been like five in terms of actual, you know, uploadable content. That is painful. I'm gonna be here until I can get, um, either a Spookster as well, or I run out of steps by accidentally misstepping to the side, whichever one happens first. Oh, it's finally over. We caught one. Okay, all right. I spent way too long trying to catch a Spookster. We've now been recording for an hour, and I've caught, like, five Pokemon. This has been a, a day so far. Spookster are very misunderstood despite their spooky appearance. They only want to socialize with humans. They only want to socialize. Um, no, you are not getting a nickname. Your nickname is Great Action. I kind of like Spookster. And we have ran all the way back to the Rock Smash area where we can pick up... Oh, I could have just ran around. Oh. One King's Rock. <laughs> I didn't actually need to go and grab Rock Smash by the looks of it. I could have just uh, went through, but it's what it is. Um, we were told there was Pokemon in the rocks, though. Ah, Midrill. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. That's actually what I put on the team so we could use Rock Smash in the first place. So I'm not really too bothered with that. And I think with that, we are done with the Safari Zone for now. I do see that little area up there where we can use Rock Climb, but we don't have access to Rock Climb yet anyway. So I think we're good to leave. I ever grab this? No, green shot. Okay, well I'm glad. Grad? I'm glad I grabbed that on the way out. Yep, I'm I'm very glad. All right, so to go over what I have done for the past hour, I have bought one a titai. Um, jolly nature. I feel like this is a special attack, so that's probably not great. Yep, that looks like the exact opposite of what I want. Uh, has suction cups, but honestly, I caught it more so I could say that I have a titai. Um, we caught ourselves the Crockling, which is ground grass, which is a fun typing. Careful nature, which honestly, it's a physical attacker, so I'll take it. It just gives it, you know, some more defense on its worst stat. That's fine. With rock head, which means that maybe we could get some shenanigans going with like head smash and double edge and stuff like that. With drill run, horn leech, bulk up, and crunch, that's actually a pretty damn good move set for a full on random catch. That's pretty good. We caught ourselves. The Derpato with a quiet nature, which could be better if it was brave, honestly, so we could boost his physical attack, but it's still interesting. Uh, with magnitude, growth, amnesia, and extrasensory, which is a strange move for the Derpy Potato, but I guess Psyduck learns psychic moves at the end of the day, and he also is um, Derpy Duck, so sure. 
Uh, we also call ourselves the Honrad. Honraid, whichever. Say more like Blade. We'll go with Honraid. Uh, Sassy Nature. So once again, negative speed. A lot of negative speed. With Blade Master, which is a very fun ability, which I think is learned by like a Mega Glades ability, or am I confusing that with something else? Honestly, I don't remember. Blade Master is a cool thing to have. With Night Slash, Secret Sword, Detect, and Psycho Cut. Could do with a fairy type move on there, considering it's fairy fighting, but still, very good move set. And we also got Spookster, which is timid. Um, but this is a physical attacker. So in terms of natures, all garbage. <laughs> all absolute garbage. <laughs> that is unfortunate. Um, negative attack when it's clearly a physical attacker with Shadow Punch, Mean Look, Glare, and Shadow Claw. So not the best in terms of movesets, but those are the Pokemon that I did go ahead and catch. I know where to catch them all now. Um, the only one that seemed good out of these was honestly the Crockling, because uh, everyone else had a horrible nature. So we'll see. We'll see. Maybe I'll go back there and catch some more in the future, but not right now. <laughs> Definitely not right now. For right now, I believe we can head down to Route 20 check the stump first of all big mushroom nice and i believe we need to start making our way to cinnabar island have a couple of trees up there that i'm not super worried about and then we have the beach so in my mind i'm gonna treat this kind of well i guess the way that i would normally get to cinnabar is i would go south from pallet town so i don't know whether we should surf off of this beach and go down this way or if we should go back to the starting town and surf south of there. Both seem like they should take us to the same place at the end of the day. I don't think it should matter too much which way we go. But I'm wondering if one of them will have more important things along the way. <laughs> in terms of like, maybe there's a root master that gives us something incredibly strong. Maybe there's a TM on the way that will give us, you know, flamethrower or something. I imagine that's in the... Um, game corner, but that's just an example, right? We could get a good TM if we go a certain way. So maybe it's worth checking both routes, but also I didn't even go along the <laughs> the cycling road yet for anything over there. So I haven't really checked out everything super thoroughly, but we'll see. We'll see. For now, I think we'll start heading this way because I normally do the opposite, which means... We can always do the other way easier, as it should just be like a straight line down, unless the route has been changed. Uh, so we'll go this way first. Do we want to learn rest? No. My plan is still to try and make this thing a shell smasher. Sleep talk as well. Okay. No, I didn't learn rest, so I'm not going to learn sleep talk, but that makes it more interesting. I honestly wish that they would learn sleep talk first, so I knew what they were trying to get at in their learn set. Because when they just try and teach me rest, I'm like, eh, I'm good. But when they, they see when I see sleep talk, I'm like, maybe I should have learned rest in the first place. Uh, do we want ring out? It's an interesting move. Not a move that I've ever ever utilized super well, but it's based like 150 power if you hear something at full HP, right? So if you have like a nasty plot up and you go for ring out on a Pokemon that comes in, it's gonna do a lot of damage. Um However, that is not the real plan for this Pokemon. And if we want a base 150 power move, we can just use come and go because, you know, very good move. Always gonna hit, always gonna have 150 power. Doesn't matter if they get lower on health and it's stab. So that's gonna be the plan there. Um, we're gonna drain these panties. That's a sentence. That's weird. Um, goodbye, Seema Pan. Uh, we do have Miles out on the team. Um, I did go ahead and put Midril back for our Galavist, as Galavist does have Wild Charge, and I assume we're going to be fighting a lot of Water types, because we are heading onto the beach after all. Also get a Blue Shard. Okay, we're getting a lot of Shards, um, which is interesting. It does open up a lot of uh, moveset potential, so I like that. I like that. I don't know if there has been any moves in particular that I want to go back to already. Um, there were some good moves in Animango. There were some good moves in Animango. I didn't actually check anything in... Nah, now that I think about it. I did not go into a single house in S4 City. I did not go into a single house over there. I should probably do that. I should probably go and check the houses in, uh, in that city. 
just in case there's anything super useful. Like, I don't think I even checked the house where you would normally go ahead and hand in the gold tooth for strength. And that seems like something pretty important to go and do. I don't know why I didn't think to do that. My brain was just, I have done all of the important things in this location because I did a rival battle, a gym, and the safari zone. And my brain was like, yep, that's, every that, that's everything you need. But yeah, we should go back and have a look at that, actually. Um, yeah, that, that might be what we do for the rest of the episode. Again, it's probably going to be a shorter episode today because I spent so long in the safari zone and I am limited in time before construction starts up again, uh, which apparently is going to take like a month. <laughs> Not looking forward to that, but we'll see. Um, I'm going to actually use burn up here because that way we no longer are going to be a fire type, so we won't be as weak to water and also big strong move. Actually going to make use of burn up. It might just one-shot the swing as well, because Malizad does have good special attack. Oh, that causes me pain. That causes me pain. That's so close. We'll go for a flame burst. It's fine. Eldance is now resisted, because, well, actually, it's less resisted now, because we're no longer fired. And I just wanted to do something cool one time. I wanted to go for a water type move. I was like, this is it. We're going to resist a move that would have normally been neutral. And then it goes for pedal dance. Um, um, yeah, let's go back to the town and see what's up in the town. All right, so this is what I would assume would be the building. Oh, hello, there's a lot of people in here. Like, oh, Jesus Christ, okay. I've ever thought of the fact that even a champion of the Falcon region has to grow his teeth and groan while pushing out a particularly large turd after arsehole. I don't know if I like this building. My ice fetic's a real idiot. It doesn't even try to aim its icicles. Oh, I see a guy in the bottom right over there. We found a Bible. Holy Bible to be held by Caroline. Oh, right. Caroline is such a weird Pokemon to me. Yeah, 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 yeah. I kind of remember that from the other time. Bane? Sneed? Other person in the corner. Be careful, maggot. I heard you've been fucking around a little too far into Team Karma's affairs lately. I think you'll have an accident soon. Oh. Oh. Like a... What kind of accident? Like a car crash or a weatherbed accident? They're, they're two very different scales of accident, you know? Why are people so rude? I just want to be friends, but you keep doing rude things and bullying others. Let's get together and be nice again, okay? <sighs> nah. <laughs> I'm from Poland. Fokin, nice country. I loving Fokin. That's kind of wholesome, actually. He's probably the nicest person here. Hello, hello. I collect rare shards. Oh. Do you have any shards? Would you like to make a deal? I can teach your Pokemon some moves. Scald is nice. Volt Switch and U-Turn are also nice. Um. Volt Switch on Flea Specs is very interesting. You know, we come in, we get a download boost, we Volt Switch out if we don't think we're going to KO, and we do, like, a good chunk of damage. Definitely interesting. Dark Pulse is also a good move. They're, they're all good moves. They're all actually very good moves. Hello. Da -na -na -com. The monster ball is on display. Various shards are on display. That looks like a leaf stone and a pokeball. So, cool. Okay, okay. Look how cool Abuelo's colored skull is. Any... Uh... <laughs> okay, you <laughs> are this house scares me. This house scares me the most. Um, I don't know if there's any equivalent for, like, the gold teeth house, actually. O okay. Lend me a hand. Trade your no-go for my flower. No. No, I'm good. I've seen it use substitute and leech seed sets, and now... Now I'm... I'm... I'm good. I'm good. I don't think I'll ever want that Pokemon now. There's this weird place on the internet that all the people at Fortune tell me to go back to. It's called Reddit. They say Reddit for some reason. Don't know why. They say that Reddit is what I came from. So maybe Reddit is my mommy and daddy. I don't know. They never answer me when I ask them. I don't even know if I have a mommy and daddy. But I know I have a cute wife. Good. Yay? I have a taco supreme with sour cream on top. Wait one sec. Hold on there, kid. I'm trying to order my food. But what if I want to order my food? Hey, what about mine? What, what is... Hey. That's me. 
that's this is me hold on wait this person this person gets it they get it okay so i don't think there was anything super important that i was missing well actually this place has a back you know the safari zone is the only place in falcon where you can find wild derpato dragon and spookster okay i got derpato and spookster i did not get dragon i wonder where dragon is the left hand side maybe maybe it's on the left hand side it's a pretty fucked up ecosystem we could maybe try and get a um a dragon as well i might head back in there we'll see we'll see we do have surf hold on goody one rare candy okay well i don't really care for the rare candies to be honest in fact i wish i didn't pick that up but it is what it is um okay 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 um is that everything is there no no person equivalent of the golden teeth guy apparently not because i think that is it okay well a little bit of a weird episode i know there's probably um a lot of cuts in the safari zone of me raging about not catching pokemon and i hope this ended up being at least like a 25 minute video because i've been recording for like an hour and 15 minutes um we will see we will see <laughs> This video might be really short if I get to editing it and it ends up being weird, but ultimately my goal for today was to check out some things in the Fry Zone and catch some new options for teams in the future. Uh, for example, like Derpato being a ground type is actually going to be kind of nice when we get to the Cinnabar equivalent, because that should be a fire type gym. Um, we'll, we'll honestly not have too much trouble with the fire type gym, I think, because we'll have Condoom and Sem Demon and Derpato, which will do a lot for us. So. There's probably not going to be a video tomorrow, as there's going to need to be a good chunk of time where I can sit down and finish up Pokemon X, as we do have the finale for that, uh, the Elite Four Pokemon League going. So that'll probably be Saturday, and then Pokemon Clover again Sunday is probably my plan for anyone that wants to be updated on what I think is going to happen with uploads. And if you guys have enjoyed this episode, leave a like down below, hit that subscribe button, and above everybody. Bye.